The project basically seeks to contribute to the achievement of Millennium Goals 4 and 5, reduction of uh, child mortality and improvement of uh, maternal uh, health status. The project actually is meant to work in semi-arid areas in Maasai land. Good morning everyone. Today we are going to um, close to Hermit. Because of the terrain it dries very fast because it's hilly. Uh, the project was meant uh, for three years. And we started uh, mid-2013. We cover two regions, Kajado North and uh, Isinya sub-counties. Both the Ministry and World Friends looked at um, uh, mother and child and saw that they are the, the, the most vulnerable people in the community. Uh, there is high mot maternal mortality rates and uh, child mortality rates. This project uh, sought to address these needs by implementing the mobile clinic services. The role of World Friends is to assist the Ministry of Health in implementing project in identified sites. On the ground, we do maternal child health, family planning, we do nutrition, capacity building, and health education. TSP's main role in maternal and child health project in Kajiado is to provide uh, technical assistance on the nutrition component, which also includes theoretical and on-job training of partners and personnel. This uh, 10 sites in Kajiado North and 10 sites in Senior are mostly hard to reach areas where the Ministry of Health does not reach and other NGOs are not covering those areas. If this clinic was not here, I would have walked many miles to Kiseria. Furthermore, some of those clinics are quite expensive. Accessing this place uh, by road is extremely difficult. The Maasai have two homes. They have homes where they go when it's dry season and they have homes where they go when it's wet season it forces you maybe to follow the population. When an expectant mother has complications while delivering at home, she is dosed with traditional medicine for three days. As such, my previous delivery was quite difficult. Herbalists are unable to deal effectively with modern diseases. We normally suffer from flu. Malaria is also a big problem. Nutrition department. What I'm doing, I'm trying to access the babies on their nutrition status. Also advise them on exclusive breastfeeding and how to feed on themselves, because even themselves they have to feed. Since World Friends, our outreach coverage has been uh, consistent. We have donated a bit. Our new delivery bed was donated by World Friends. Culture is one of the constraints that uh, we are facing. An expectant mother has certain needs, but usually they are afraid to communicate them. I handle issues of family planning and also reproductive health. Especially the Maasai men, they, they don't believe in family planning. They, they, they want to get as many children as, as they can. And to have as many children as God allows me. Here when you preach about exclusive breastfeeding, they tend not to understand you well. Some of the main achievements I would mention is that uh, we have uh, enhanced the quality of nutrition services. We have also trained 80 community health volunteers and 20 healthcare facility personnel. We have seen that uh, there is quite marked in improvement especially when it comes to drinking clean water, hand washing. We have been able to, uh, to advise so many Maasai women and even men to go for HIV testing and counseling. The target was around was more than 30,000. We are three quarters of the target. These clinics have been very helpful, especially to us, the Maasai community. Accessibility to these clinics is the biggest advantage. I'll definitely deliver in hospital next time. When you go to the community, they are seeking that our world friends should not just leave them like that. Since I started attending this clinic, I have seen my child's health and growth improve. When uh, these achievements are consolidated together, then I think as a country, we have made great strides to meet MDG 4 and 5.